Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this session, we will cover exercise 7.2 uh, from additional mathematics course for IGCSE and O level students. Uh, the first problem is uh, we have to find the gradient of the uh, line A to B for each of the following pair of points. So, in the second problem, we have to find the uh, we have given write down the gradient of the lines perpendicular to a line with gradient this. So, so this uh, uh, we have to uh, find the uh, gradient of lines perpendicular to a line with gradient this. So, this some gradients are given, and we have to find the gradient of a perpendicular line. So, mm. <coughs> on this. So this is very easy. This is uh, minus one over three. This is my. Uh, this is plus two. This is minus five upon two. This is four, five, five, five upon four. So this is minus five, four upon five. So this is very easy. In the third problem, the two vertices, the vertices of A, B, C, D are this. Find the gradient of A, B, C. So this is A and B are given. So the other uh, A uh, to D and B to C are perpendicular to line so this becomes easy to solve and then uh, fourth problem maybe three triple gm is given so we have fine similarly five six and seven eight nine problems so let's start this uh, exercise 7.2 <coughs> so this is uh, find the gradient of line a b so a b is given so this gradient of a to b 1 2 and 3 minus 2 so this is gradient minus 2 minus 2 and 3 minus 1 so this is minus 4 upon 2 so this is minus 2 so this gives us is a gradient similarly for others <coughs> and second problem so this is 3 so this is 3 so m2 minus m1 is minus 1 so m2 is minus 1 upon 3 so this is all easy uh, let's solve uh, exercise 4 so we have a b and c are given a b c is a triplosium and a b c is a and uh, a b and c d are parallel and b and d is 90 degree find the coordinates of d let's record you know d b m and n the gradient of a b is is given so this is uh, the point a and b are given so the gradient can easily be found so this is a b we have pointed plotted it here so it's easy so this a b and c d are parallel and this point is uh, 90 degree is also b a d b a d so a b is uh, obtained as this so a and d a and d is perpendicular to a b so this a d is uh, if the slope of this m a b is 1 over 2 then this a and d should be minus 2 so this m a d is minus 2 so <clears throat> from this the gradient of c d is uh, a uh, c d is same as m a b this slope and this slope should be same because these are parallel so this is half and gradient of a to d this is perpendicular to this so this is minus 2 so let's solve it and uh, from uh, this d point this equation so a to d and c to d this slope this point is used here this is point this point we have uh, uh, finally evaluated this but at this moment we have this m and n so m and n are placed to get the gradient so x using x to uh, y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 formula and similarly for a to d similarly the same technique y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1 so we have this and from this we have from these two equations we have uh, obtained this so this first equation and similarly for this the second one from this one we have this 
second equation. So we solve it simultaneously and on simultaneous solutions we have obtained this n is equal to minus 1 and m is equal to 3. So the coordinates of d is minus 3 and minus 1 which we have finally write down here. So initially it was unknown and after obtaining these coordinates we have placed it here. So this is a very important problem. These kind of questions are usually asked in final exams. So move on to Uh, this uh, question number 8 we have a b c are given as minus k minus 2 and b is k minus 4 and c is k minus k comma 4 comma k minus 2 and we have to find the value of k if a b c is 90 degree and the angle of b is 90 degree the gradient of a b a and b is defined as this so this is y2 minus y1 uh, x2 minus x1 so x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 so this is minus 2 upon 2k so this is minus 1 over k so the gradient of uh, bc is k2 minus so this is uh, y2 uh, y1 and this is x2 x1 so we have obtained this so if uh, these two are given as 90 degree so this should be equals to the product of this two should be equal to minus one so m a b and m b c equal to minus one so because the a b c is 90 degree is perpendicular to each other so on simplifications we have obtained on this we have this we have this and we have this and this and finally factorize it and get this one comma two this is the answer and uh, we have uh, to find uh, <coughs> question number nine let's read the question 9 uh, a is the point minus 2 0 and b is the point 2 comma 6 find the point c on the x axis such that the angle a b c is 90 degree so this point c is on the x axis if it is on the x axis means y coordinate is 0 on x axis the value of y will be 0 and this a b c is 90 degree so this is challenging problem so this is a b and c is given so a b and c is basically n comma 0 on the, the on this axis so, so we have gradient a b is equal to 6 minus 0 and 2 minus 2 so this is 4 by 3 is equal to 3 upon 2 so gradient of uh, b and c c point is here on the on this axis we have here so bc is 6 minus 0 2 minus n and uh, for condition to meet abc is equal to 90 degree this ab and this bc so this angle is basically 90 degree so we should multiply this and will be equals to minus 1 so this is 3 and 6 2 minus n is equal to minus 1 so on simplification we have this 18 to minus 2 minus n so this is 2 this is, finally we have obtained value of n is 11 so this coordinate of c is 11 comma 0 
so because the uh, the second point is on the x axis so this is c is n comma 0 so we have to find the value of n so we have obtained the value of n and the coordinate of c is 11 comma 0 so this is all from exercise 7.2 in the next section we will discuss exercise 7.2